What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Let's get into the news. The first story of the day is about Project Fi, which is now known as Google Fi, and what it is is a cell phone carrier of sorts from Google. What they do is they take T-Mobile servers and they also take Sprint servers and put them together and they create Google Fi. And it, prices are okay. I believe the, the, it's capped at like 60 bucks a month. You get a limited talk and text and then six gigs of data and then everything, anything over six gigabytes of data is basically free. Um, and it only used to only work with certain phones from like Motorola and Google, but it looks like they've opened up the floodgates from here on out. You can use an iPhone, you can use an even older iPhones, like old iPhone 5, you can use Galaxy phones, like all the way back to S6. So if you have a Note phone, that'll work. Um, basically any Android phone that has Android 7 and up, and then like I said, some of those older iPhones as well. The big thing that's missing from this is the ability to switch between the two servers, have to be with T-Mobile or Sprint. You're basically, I would assume, probably just gonna be on uh, T-Mobile if I had to guess, or whatever's best in your area is what you'll end up getting. It won't automatically switch like the Pixel phone would on this. So if you wanna sign up, you can sign up now. And again, this is active as of right now as well. And it's kinda cool, I guess. It gives you more options if you were looking to join this service. I would still stay away from it unless you're gonna get a phone that's fully compatible with the service. And the last story of the day is a big news story and it's sure to make a lot of people happy, at least ones that watch my channel, and that is the US version, unlocked version, of the Galaxy Note 9 is now ready for registration signups for the Android Pi Beta, also known as Samsung One UI Beta. I remember one of the first comments I got when I made the video on how to sign up for the S9 version is, the Note 9's not even coming out. In your face, man, it's officially out. I personally don't have it, so I have the Galaxy Note 9 um, unlocked version, but it hasn't hit my phone. Um, I'm hoping it does, I just don't know why it hasn't, but definitely people are already getting the signups to be able to do this. The download itself after you sign up is not active, just a second, just the registration of it. And again, it's only currently for unlocked Samsung Galaxy Note 9 phones US. I know some of the other places in the world are getting this as well, but we're just strictly talking about the US right now. And you're probably gonna ask your next question, when is you know Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, and the other carriers gonna be available? No news on that yet. It's just the unlocked version. I know some of you have the unlocked version like myself. Once it becomes available on my phone, if it does, hopefully, and it should be, because I meet the criteria, I will definitely sign up and do a video on it and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, it's uh, check your phones. If you have the unlocked version, check to see if the beta is up download and sign up for the registration and then eventually you'll get a, a pushed download then you basically just download it like any other update and it'll reboot your phone keep in mind though it potentially could be buggy meaning some apps won't work some features won't work your phone might act funny so if this is your main phone you might not want to do it or if you're fine with that going in going into that just remember, you know, we might have an, some issues with it. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to new videos every single day. My question out to you guys is, if the beta becomes uh, available for your Note 9, are you going to sign up? And why do you want to sign up? For me, I want to sign up just to try out the, the new look of the phone, um, the new features, stuff like that. Let me know what your thoughts are. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.